The Spanish royal family has been involved in quite a few controversies in recent years. But King Felipe VI has tried to make amends where he can and boost the popularity of the family. With money being a big part of the previous king's scandals, you have to wonder, how does the family now spend their billions? Keep watching as we talk about the most expensive objects and residences of the Spanish monarchy. The Palacio Real de Madrid, or Royal Palace of Madrid, is the formal house of the Spanish royal family. But it's only really ever used for state functions. King Felipe and Queen Letizia live in the more humble Palacio de la Zarzuela on the outskirts of Madrid rather than the palace. The Spanish state owns the Palacio Real de Madrid, which is located on the Calle de Bayan in the western area of Madrid. The Palacio Real is commonly referred to as one of Europe's most gorgeous royal palaces, and is directly across the street from the Almudena Cathedral, where King Felipe and Queen Letizia got married in 2004. But like we just mentioned, the palace is no longer the official house of the Spanish monarchy. The present king and queen live in the Zarzuela Palace just outside the city with their daughters Leonor and Sofia. But even if the royals no longer live there, the building's still used for official ceremonies, state dinners, and other important events. With about 3,000 rooms, the palace is one of the largest in Western Europe. One of the most stunning spaces is the throne room, as there are some stunning pieces of furniture, paintings, and tapestries on the inside. Paintings, china vases, pottery, gold, porcelain, silk hangings, and everything is exceedingly elaborate, with works by artists such as Goya, Velázquez, and Mings adorning the palace walls. The rooms themselves are many in number and massive. For formal dinners, the dining room, which is used for state banquets, can seat over 100 people. The porcelain chamber is another noteworthy room. This room's walls are fully covered in ceramics. There's also a special chapel that's only used by the Spanish royal family or for state functions. A stunning marble staircase constructed by Sabatini greets visitors at the palace's entrance. The artwork on the ceiling also symbolizes Spain's role as a religious protector. The lovely Sabatini Gardens are located behind the castle and feature stone benches surrounded by ponds, lush vegetation, and flowers. Since King Juan Carlos I abdicated in 2014, King Felipe VI has ruled Spain. Although the former Spanish king was mired in a financial scandal, his son Felipe has taken a significant step toward making the Spanish royal family more transparent. According to King Felipe's holdings, he has little under 2.3 million euros in checking and savings accounts as well as securities. According to a statement from the royal household, the monarch also possesses paintings, antiques, and jewelry worth more than 305,000 euros. Juan Carlos, who stepped down in 2014, has been involved in many scandals involving finances. The money that should have gone to help the people was instead used on himself. He was involved in a deal that gave a Spanish consortium the opportunity to win the contract to build a high-speed rail line in Saudi Arabia for 6.7 billion euros. According to reports, Juan Carlos received an 88 million euro or 100 million dollar payment from King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia in 2008, three years before the contract was actually signed. And turns out he allegedly gifted 65 million euros from the account to his former lover, Karina Larsen, four years later. Spain's El Confidencial website reported in July that Juan Carlos had withdrawn 100,000 euros a month from the account between 2008 and 2012, and used the money to pay for some of the royal family's expenses. Another scandal that forced him to resign was a really controversial trip to Botswana. He went elephant hunting while Spain was still reeling from the impact of the 2008 financial crisis. <laughs> no wonder the people wanted him to step down. How can we continue without mentioning the most expensive wedding gown of all time? Queen Letizia married future King Felipe in 2004, and her six million pound show-stopping wedding gown is still the most costly royal wedding gown 17 years later. Manuel Pertegas, a royal courtier, designed the gown which had a four and a half meter train, long sleeves, a high standing collar, and gold thread embroidery woven into the silk. If this wasn't jaw-dropping enough, Queen Letizia also wore a diamond tiara that a mother-in-law Queen Sofia had given her. On her wedding day to King Juan Carlos in 1962, Queen Sofia wore the tiara herself. 
The use of gold thread in the embroidery was one of the reasons for the dress's massive price tag. In 2003, Felipe asked former journalist Letizia for her hand in marriage, and the two married a year later. Letizia looked stunning in an ivory gown with a high neckline, tiara, and lengthy veil. She also wore her engagement ring on her wedding day, but she hasn't seen it since. Felipe presented his then fiance with a stunning white gold ring set with 16 tiny baguette cut diamonds. Suarez, a Spanish designer, created the ring, which is described as an eternity design because it lacks a focal stone. The ring's value has been estimated by various specialists, with gemologist Alexandra Michel of Prestige Pawnbrokers putting it at a stunning 35,000 pounds. The ring's totally stunning, with princess cut diamonds of about 5 carats. Queen Letizia never wears her ring, despite its enormous worth, and it hasn't been seen in public since her wedding day. Now, we might be being nosy, but there are two possible explanations for this one. One reason that the Spanish queen decided to quit wearing the ring was because it was causing her hand pain. The second reason is more far-fetched, but according to Spanish journalists and authors Esteban Eritzietja and Eduardo Inda, Letizia no longer possesses the ring because she returned it to the retailer. The authors of Ordangarin, a biography of the Spanish royal family, explained that King Felipe had ordered his brother-in-law, Inake Ordangarin, to retrieve the ring from a jewelry shop in Barcelona. Esteban and Eduardo claimed Iñaki paid for the ring using his company's credit card, which was Nus. This was a private company that Iñaki founded, and the reason why he was sent to prison. Currently still serving his five-year sentence, the king's brother-in-law was found guilty of tax fraud, embezzlement, and influence peddling. The royal authors claimed this is the reason why Queen Letizia decided to return the ring. And so this is why she doesn't wear the ring. But of course, nothing has ever been confirmed by the Spanish royals themselves. Princess Leonor is next in line to the throne, and has a lot of pressure on her from an early age. Now, the daughters are extremely polished at their age, so what exactly are their expenses? Well, Princess Leonor is currently enrolled in the esteemed UWC Atlantic College in the Welsh Vale of Glamorgan. The institution is presided over by Britain's Queen Elizabeth, the average tuition fee for the college is about $60,000. According to the Spanish newspaper Vente Minutos, the princess shared a room in her first year with three girls from different countries. This is because the United World Schools Network encourages international education. Now, when we talk about personal choices, both she and Infanta Sofia are always well-dressed like their mother and wear famous brands like Dandara and are seen sporting Mary Janes, 